What the reason I'm making this video? Because I'm reaching out to those that are not Christians. Why you are not a Christian? That's my message today. My message is to gear towards you that I know you have seen some bad behavior in Christian, but they're not Christian. They are attendees. Is the difference between attendees and Christian? Attendees hold the name Christian, but they're only attendees. So my message is to gear to you as a sinner, a person that outside looking in. I want to reach you with the gospel. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And the reason why you have to, you have not make another step because you have seen some bad behavior in church. You have seen some bad behavior in people that say they are Christian. But my friend, don't look to them. The Bible says, look unto Jesus, the author, and the finish your faith for the joy that was set before him, endure the cross, the spot of shame, and then sit at the right hand of God. So stop looking at people and look at the potentate. The potentate is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ died for you. Jesus Christ, hallelujah, he, he sent me to tell you that he loves you. He loves you so much. He's not willing that any shall perish, but all men shall come to repentance. See, the reason why, the reason why you're still seeking, you're still searching, you're still glorious anxious for the living God, because God is real. And the reason why God is real, because God sent me to tell you that he loves you. God tell me to, to, to tell you that great love have no man than this. Buddha didn't die. Buddha died, but Buddha didn't get up. Hallelujah. Uh, Kresma died and didn't get up. Hindu died and didn't get up. Hey, glory to God. All those Helen G. White died and didn't get up. Russell died and didn't get up. And the only person that died and got up, he the first begotten of the dead. I'm talking about Jesus. The Bible say the tomb was empty. When they went to look at the tomb, the only thing they see some cloth. Because Jesus Christ is risen. He not just risen on Easter, because Easter is not about the resurrection. Easter about an Easter bunny. Easter about an Easter cheese. Easter about an Easter a cake. But I come and tell you, hey, glory to God, Jesus Christ ain't got nothing to do with Easter. Because Easter is, mon is monopoly. Easter is all about money. But I stop by to tell you that Jesus is your master. He's better, hallelujah, than tea. He's better than coffee. He's better, he's better than a million dollars. I stop by to tell somebody, Jesus Christ is better than material things. Hey, glory to God, Jesus Christ, hallelujah. He's looking for you, he's searching for you, and he found you. So don't look at the, don't look at the attendees, because attendees are just church goers. They just go to church for tradition. They go to church for customs. They go to church because their parents told them to go to church. And that's what they are, they're, they're there for. They're there as a as attendee. But I stop by to tell you, Christians are still here. The Bible says many are called, but few are chosen. God have chosen you. He chosen the left the left behind. He chosen the lonely. He chosen, <laughs> glory to God, those that, hallelujah, have not, hallelujah, have not decided yet. I'm telling you, God is calling you. You might be wondering, hallelujah, why 
all this happen unto you. The Bible says a man that is born of a woman a few days and full of trouble. The Bible says, hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God, that, that, that these things I've spoken to you, in me you might have peace in the world, tribulation. Be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Do you say, looking unto Jesus, the author, and a finisher of faith, for the joy that was set before him, endure the cross, despite the shame, and a sit at the right hand of God. The Bible say, glory to God, hallelujah, come unto me, all he that have laden, and I will give rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, because I'm, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The Bible say, hey, glory to God, it was a man that was at the, the, the Bethesda. He was there for 30 long, 38 long years. And the Bible say, this man was waiting for the moving of the water. And Jesus Christ came to the man and asked the man, do you want to be healed? Do you want to be healed? But, but he could keep on asking. He keep on saying that every time somebody uh, uh, stepped in front of him, he trying to get in the water. But Jesus Christ asked him a question. Do you want to be healed? And the Bible said, Jesus Christ told him, hallelujah. He said, hallelujah, take up your bed and walk. And the Bible say he took up his bed and he walked. Hey, glory to God. The man, hallelujah, that was at the, the, the beautiful gate. Hallelujah, everybody dropped coins in his bucket. But one day, Peter and John saw the man, and Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such I have, I give unto thee. Take, he, hallelujah, he said, this is what he say. He said, Silver and gold have I none. I don't have the money right now. But such I have, I give unto thee in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. And the Bible say, hey, glory to God, this man was at the beautiful gate. And Peter reached his hand and picked the man up and his bones got back together. And he was walking and leaping and praising God. But it didn't stop right there. It was a woman that had an issue of blood for 12 long years. She spent all her money on physician. What she did? She spent all her money on physician. And one day, Jesus Christ said, Jesus Christ, they say, Jesus Christ is coming to town. Look at a multitude of people. And on a one woman that an issue of blood, he glory to God. And the Bible say, this woman, glory to God, got down on her knees and touched the hem of Jesus Christ's garment. And the Bible say, Jesus Christ say, who touched me because virtue have gone out of me. And Jesus Christ say, who touched me? Peter say, Lord, you see all the people around you and you say, who touched you? I come and tell you, one touch with Jesus will make the difference in your life. What a touch is. That touch is believing that Jesus Christ is able to do exceed above all we ask or think according to power that work in us. The Bible says the devil come to steal, kill, and destroy, but Jesus come that we may have life and have it more abundantly. I stop by to tell you, if you put your trust in Jesus Christ, the Bible says now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, but it the elders obtain a good report. I don't know your situation is, but I come and tell you, it came to pass. It didn't came to last. Hallelujah. Make today your birthday. Make today. The Bible say, if we confess with our mouth and believe in our heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Today, let today become your birthday of being born again. The Bible say, hallelujah. Nicodemus came to Jesus Christ that night and said, Rabbi, we know that our teacher come from God. Can no man can do this miracle that thou doest, except God be with him. Jesus Christ said, you must be born again to see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said, how can a man be born? Shall he enter the second time in his mother's womb? Jesus Christ said, no, Nicodemus, you must be born of the water and the spirit to enter into the kingdom of God. Mother, I said to you, you must be born again. Let today be a born again experience. Let today be a born again experience. Welcome to the family of God. 
God. Welcome to the family of God. And God loves you. God care about you right now.